we recognize and we celebrate the tremendous power of activism grounded in research. Activism without research behind it is just meaningless yelling. You know that. Research without activism imprisons that truth. This award is to epidemiologist, researcher, and HIV AIDS policy expert and leader extraordinaire, Greg Millett. Thank you for, for this incredible award. It really is a surreal experience and quite humbling to be receiving an award from a group and an organization and from many people in this room who are directly responsible for me being alive today, as well as many people around the world being met. It's truly a humbling experience. I have the great honor of presenting TAG's Research and Action Award to Christopher Tepper and Paul Kelterborn, the two young, brilliant urban planners whose imagination, commitment, and insight are the driving force behind the New York City AIDS Memorial. The mission of the memorial is not only to acknowledge and honor the unnecessary loss of so many lives, but we also want to recognize the caretakers who responded to the crisis and celebrate the unprecedented activism that rose up to fight both the disease and our indifferent society and institutions. Yeah, that fundraising for the memorial has been very successful thanks to the generosity of numerous private donors, including many in this room today as well as the leadership of some of our elected officials. Paul also serves on the board of uh, Broadway Paris, Anthony Fights AIDS, works closely with AMFAR, uh, the Trevor Project, Ali Mornay, among many, many other things. Please give a warm welcome to an amazing star in our work. I want to just keep educating people because education is about questioning. And so I don't know all the answers, but I want people to keep questioning, not just to like uh, sit down and shut up. So I'm very happy. <laughs> Ostensibly, this award tonight is to recognize the Health Commissioner of New York City, Dr. Mary Travis Bassett, for her exemplary work and the leadership she provided during the Ebola crisis over the past few months in New York City. I want to thank Tag and, and Mark. Um, and for the example that you set of linking activism to science. Did such an outstanding job as the head of PEPFAR that even though every year he was in office, he faced budget cuts because of you know who in Congress that was uh, maintaining a, a posterity politics in the time of recession, Eric and his team were able to quadruple the number of people receiving highly active antiretroviral therapy around the world. In many ways, the TAG group uh, did that bridge, uh, moved uh, science not just um, in kind of the medical family and community, but made and understood the importance of putting the issues that were salient and urgent and critical in the context of a scientific solution. He was a legendary uh, keyboardist, a composer, and, and band leader. And uh, you can see uh, his versatility in the amazing array of instrumentalists and vocalists that he's worked with and collaborated with. Uh, I've had HIV AIDS since the mid-80s. Started on monotherapy with ACT as soon as it came out. And I lived through the dark days before produce inhibitors. Never had an undetectable viral load until 2008. I consider myself to be an accidental activist. Thank you, thank you, thank you all for coming. Uh, you know all 